Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch has been very debatable for some time whether or not it was actually going to be a thing or not. Well, we finally have some news on Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo has officially confirmed it's not going to come back. Now let me give you my thoughts real quick on this news that we've just gotten from Nintendo. I am slightly surprised that Virtual Console is not coming to the Nintendo Switch, despite everybody pretty much saying that it probably won't because of various reasons which I'll get into in a minute. I thought Nintendo was definitely going to try to basically milk out the Virtual Console for all it was worth, and let's be honest, pretty much everybody really wants Virtual Console regardless of what is currently on the Nintendo eShop. Mainly everybody wants GameCube. GameCube Virtual Console, which I can't blame them. GameCube is my favorite console of all time. But sadly, this doesn't seem to be what's going to happen. And that's not a bad thing. And let's talk about why this is actually not bad news. So as most of you know, the Nintendo Online service was just talked about last night. And we're going to be getting a huge assortment of NES games that we can play online with Switch friends. They're also going to continuously add different games from what I can tell. They also said that they were going to be adding different games as well to the assortment of the already existing 20 games. This in itself is pretty cool. Well, not nothing that I really care too much for, but I know a lot of people definitely get their kicks of playing their favorite NES games online with their friends. Something that Virtual Console definitely was not going to allow you to do. And the next thing, we all know that Nintendo has decided to recreate all these old school consoles in the form of these classic editions. The NES Classic and the SNES Classic have been around now for a little while and we've all known about them. The NES Classic obviously is this extremely rare gem that even to this day is n not available anywhere, but I have heard that they're going to re-release them eventually this year, but I, I don't know much about that at this point. While the SNES Classic was also really, really hard to get when it first came out, but I've seen it in different stores now available uh, worldwide, so it shouldn't be the hardest thing to get now, but it is still a little bit difficult from what I understand. All right, now let's talk about the major reason why it's kind of a good thing that we're not getting Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch. Switch. The Nintendo Switch is absolutely filled with really good indie games. Now, if Virtual Console is on the Nintendo Switch, a lot of people are going to overlook these indie games for other old school Nintendo games. And that can really hurt the sales of these indie games. After all, they are made by independent game developers and they put so much effort into their games. They deserve to have it played. While most of us already have a way to play most of these Virtual Console games, so in regards to, you you know, supporting indie developers, it's definitely a good thing that Virtual Console is not coming to Switch. And I have one last point that I would like to talk about, something that I have never heard anybody even talk about remotely whatsoever. Let's say if GameCube Virtual Console was actually a thing, great, that's awesome. I feel like if we did have Nintendo Virtual Console, like for example, like GameCube Virtual Console, there wouldn't be too much of a reason to go back in regards to game mechanics for specific games like for example I feel like Mario Odyssey would probably not be as good as it was had Nintendo decide that they wanted to bring Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario 64 and Galaxy Virtual Console into the Nintendo Switch. The reason why I think that is because the way Nintendo sees it there's already three games that do it just fine and if you wanted to grab it you could grab all three games for a certain price and that way they can focus on a new direction for Mario but now that there's no Virtual Console for the Nintendo GameCube or anything like that, they definitely wanted to go all out on their Mario games so that way you weren't missing out when you purchased a Nintendo Switch. You're getting one of the best Mario games ever made. And so I would say that the trade-off would be worth it. One more reason why GameCube Virtual Console isn't a thing and it's actually a good reason why it's not is because now we have the potential and the possibility to get a lot of GameCube games in an HD fashion. Basically what Legend of Zelda Wind Waker was kind of about. Now we can get a lot more of those. Nintendo can really, really shine on their HD remakes if they decide to do so, of course. Imagine Paper Mario Thousand Year Door HD. If Paper Mario Thousand Year Door was Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch, of course it would sell well. But if Paper Mario Thousand Year Door had an HD remake that was going to be coming out, it would completely outsell the original game on the Virtual Console. If they decided to have both Virtual Console for this game and an HD remake, I think it's 
it's obvious that the HD remake sales would be heavily hindered by the fact that Nintendo pretty much already made the game come back. But now, with Virtual Console not being a thing, we have the potential of having some great HD remakes if we really wanted to. That and the fact that it seems like Nintendo is definitely going back to the way they used to do things, and it's pretty obvious they're doing this for a reason. They're really trying to make sure that they can sell this system with their current games rather than just relying on old school games to pick up on those sales. And who knows? Maybe there might be some like old school Switch bundle packs with like a hundred different games on them. Like maybe there might be like an NES pack, an SNES pack, maybe a GameCube pack might come eventually. I don't really know if this is going to be a thing just because of the fact that we have the classic editions of game consoles and I do believe we're eventually going to get to N64 classic, possibly GameCube classic, maybe even a Wii classic eventually. Not really entirely sure how possible this actually is going to be, but at this point, Nintendo is so unpredictable, guys. We have no idea what Nintendo is thinking. So what do you guys think about this news on Nintendo? Vote up on the poll on the top right. Do you guys think that Virtual Console needs to be on the Switch? Or do you think that Virtual Console is a thing of the past and they can do something so much better? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to give this video a like. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification button as well as we post videos like this all the time, guys. You're not going to want to miss out. Make sure you guys share this video with your friends as well. With that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everyone.